Today we've got a brand new beer from Magic Rock. This is a new beer available in Waitrose supermarkets. This one cost me just £2.75. It is called Chameleonic and it's an IPA. But what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today, we're going to Magic Rock. One of those sort of breweries that, well, sometimes the beer from them can be not bad, and sometimes it can be just downright awful. Um, but I thought I'd take a chance on this one. This is a double dry hop IPA, 6%, and it is available in, in Morrison's, and it costs £2.75. £2 I'm sure it was £2.75. Or 280. It was under three pounds, so I thought pretty good value for a six percent IPA. Um, and that's about all we know. I looked at the back, and there's no indication of what hops there are in it. Um, I know that it's 49 calories per 100 mil, so that's going to be well, the best part 250 calories I'm going to be uh, drinking here. But let's crack it open, get it in a glass, and see what it's all about. You'll see that I did a uh, I had a Northern Monk one that I got, Rays of Faith, which I got in um, in Waitrose as well, and I thought that was pretty good. So let's see if this can be could be as good as it really. Um, I remember a Magic Rock beer that I had in Waitrose, quite not Waitrose. When we're talking about, I'm, I'm in Waitrose here. A Magic Rock beer that I had in Morrison's, and that was very good. I'm trying to remember what it was called now. Something to do with magicians. I can't, I'm not sure, but I remember it being not bad. Um, but I've had some other Magic Rock ones, and they've been a bit, well, a bit rubbish, really. But beer in a glass, yeah, we've got a hazy, yellowy, orange colour, two fingers, and a fairly compacted head there. Yeah, I mean, that looks that looks reasonably good in a glass, really. Um, not bad at all. Let's see what the aromas are like. Yeah, very disappointing in terms of aroma. I'm not really picking up anything really from it. If anything, I'm picking a slightly sort of subtle malt base. Not really picking up much in the ways of fruit aromas at all. Yeah. Let's hope it's going to taste better than it smells. Cheers, everyone. It's not bad. For under a three quid, it's not bad, but nothing jumps out. It's one of those sort of beers that's like very beer-like, refreshing, but there's no big flavours. A really nice mouthfeel. Low levels of carbonation, soft carbonation. It's smooth. It's got... Not creamy, but it's definitely got a sort of medium body that just sort of glides down. Flavour-wise, there's a subtleness of tropical flavours. There's a subtleness of citrus, fla citrus flavours. But there's nothing that's jumping out at all. It's one of those sort of beers that you just keep drinking and drinking it and you'll never actually work out what, what the flavour is. No. There's, it, it tastes, it does taste, you think first, when you first drink it, you think this is not going to be a great beer. But the the flavours aren't harsh. It's, even though it's got a nice medium smooth body, it's a very, it's got a lightness of touch in terms of the way it goes down. So the flavours sort of, I'm getting a bit of passion fruit and a little bit of orange. And there's a sort of, tropicalness passion for you know as they passion fruit again mango even but then there's a bit of citrus but there's nothing extreme there's no sort of hard hitting sort of grapefruit flavors there's no big up front juicy flavors it's just it's just pleasant and i and i hate using that word it's almost worse than the word nice but it is pleasant it's got a nice mouthfeel but it and it's one of those sort of beers that if you were served this at a party or or even in a pub and you think, yeah, tastes all right, knock that back, smooth, soft, it glides down nicely, and then you'd go for it again. 
but there's no real sort of like there's no real big flavors that you can really analyze it's it's just it's just okay disappointed there's not much aroma disappointed that the flavor doesn't hit but i mean this is how much i've got left maybe because i keep drinking it i'm trying to work out what it is maybe it's a cunning plan by magic rock to say oh there's loads of youtubers out there they're trying to analyze our beer why don't we just make it a bit nondescript so they keep wanting to drink it really quickly and and this is what this is all about it's good it's not great it's all right as a supermarket beer the mouthfeel sort of saves it there's no harsh flavors but at the same time, there's no sort of big hits of flavour. It's a very difficult beer to sort of to sort of break down in terms of flavours. There's a tropical citrusy sort of flavour to it in a very sort of nondescript way. Smooth, nice body. But apart from that, yeah, average. Not the sort of beer I'd want to buy again. It's just there's nothing to it. There's just not much to it at all. OK, I think I had enough. Let's get some scores. And until then... Keep on rocking. Okay, the scores are in for Magic Rocks Chameleonic. Strange name for a beer. Uh, this is a double dry hop IPA. It's got a nice mouthfeel and it's got nice flavours, but there's nothing that jumps out. Nothing's hard hitting on this beer at all. Little bit disappointed. It's a very uh, typical of an average supermarket beer. But let's go through the scores. Aroma. Appearance. Flavour. Value for money. My overall experience. And that gives a total score. It's just about recommended but just um, it's an all right beer if you want something that's easy to drink that's not gonna sort of be offensive in any way then it's not bad 275 pretty good value for money but there are a lot better beers in the supermarkets so here's the total score and i hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one keep on rocking